Years Later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Critters 3. It was released on December 11th, 1991. So, does it hold up? So not only is this a years later, but it's also going alongside with Scorsese, Nicolas Cage, and I'll be honest right now, I like did not really pay attention to watching this film because it is so boring. Like once the opening starts, we meet all of our characters, Annie, Leonardo, the father, once the RV gets fixed and then they go into this apartment complex and we meet all of our weird wacky characters, it got really boring and I don't know what the hell I'm going to say, aside from some really funny characters, critters are being critters and DiCaprio as his first on screen filmography feels like another critters film that's really it it just so happens to have DiCaprio as his first on-screen debut aside from that this film's got nothing else maybe some gore maybe some maybe cool kills I don't think there is or if there was I missed it because I did not pay attention to it at all so DiCaprio as his first film he's fine barely in the movie well he is in the movie but he's there at the beginning and then like the end middle end and then the final act because a good chunk of the film is in this goddamn apartment complex where we meet characters like Frank. He has his heavy Italian accent. He's an asshole. He's lazy. And he's the first one to die, which is a great moment. But right off the bat, you're like, what the fuck is this character? It's wacky. Like, what am I watching? This is a Critters movie, right? It is. We just see our characters one by one. You're waiting for each one of them, aside from our main and maybe a few helpful characters, see them die. Frank and maybe Charlie might be my favorite characters because they're just so not out there, but just kind of weird and wacky and don't fit in this movie at all. Frank feels like he He's in a Italian movie or whatever and someone got this character from that other movie and put him in here that's what I felt like and then Charlie who by the way I forgot that I did a year later on for the first film and he was in that film once he gets introduced they recap what happens in the first one which was nice because I had forgotten about the first one completely it's a good film but I just forgot about it and the way they introduce him he's in the ground and he just comes up scares Leonardo that's how we get introduced to this character who's now reoccurring but he's wacky and fun in a good way at the end of the day he comes and saves the film maybe not save the film but has enjoyment to him where you don't really mind watching it because he's in it for the beginning and end just like DiCaprio some fun into this film because it's so boring you got a guy named Mario I guess he looks like Mario father to I think Frank which makes sense but he's a plumber I guess this is just me now assuming because I ain't got no idea don't know what happened to him I'll be honest he's there at the beginning and then I guess he dies Marsha who's a bit of a badass only character that helps during the whole critter stuff and just seems capable of doing stuff or maybe Maybe not. Again, my memory on this film, half in and out of paying attention, but helping Annie and DiCaprio escape the attack of the critters. And then we meet all of our other residents in the apartment complex. We have the laundry lady who I thought died the first time we saw her get attacked by critters, but no, she comes back later on. I wasn't expecting it because once they show all of her characters, they die. I think we got like an old couple, I think. And then the others, I can't remember. And then we got Annie and her family, her little brother and her father. Their mother died like a couple years ago. And now all they have is themselves. Their dad is working really hard he's like the normal character is just a father who's trying to help himself and his family surviving probably the only decent character annie and DiCaprio, but they are there to be kind of love interest but not it's teased near the end they feed all the critters annie's also fine with DiCaprio. their kids teenagers i will say though there's not a single character that's awful like rank is kind of that but that character is still enjoyable kind of like charlie where they don't ruin the film where it's like you know what i can have fun with this and i did but again i'm gonna keep repeating this it's also very 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 boring and then her little brother gets like this glowing gem or something where it glows up near the critters which i'm gonna assume turns them crazy because in this film they have critters like eating shit and like drinking soap and having a fun time getting drunk off of soap and it's like okay they just went full on like comedy with the critters and whatnot fine it's weird this movie's weird tonally it's like the serious little ball of creatures attacking and killing all these people and then near the end it switches and these critters are drinking soap and getting drunk talking making jokes then talking to each other is actually funny but like the other stuff getting drunk off of soap i don't know man that shit was weird they start eating shit or what looks like pink stuff either one of them dies or they killed a human being or they took a shit and ate that i like looked away for a second i came back and it was like oh they're eating like beans or something i don't know i was just like okay moving on charlie comes back he saves like the day everyone's like hooray we survive and then charlie's gone because he's always gone and then i guess the one cool part is the credits they start rolling butts with charlie in the basement or something 
something, looking for the remainders of the critters. Turns out there's two eggs and throughout space shenanigans and whatnot, a person comes on saying that these two eggs are the only life of critters left, which means you should probably kill it, but they need to set up another movie, which is going to be in space, I think, because all horror icon, they always go to space, which makes sense with the whole telegraph stuff or whatever and futuristic shit. Charlie should have most definitely killed those critters, but he doesn't, I think. He's just like, wait, what? Why? It ends on a weird way where it sets up another film. That's how it ends. But it was cool though to see a freeze frame credits. You see Charlie doing something and then go back freeze frame. Cool, I guess. So if it's not clear, this is the first video of DiCaprio's filmography on the playlist and it sounds like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about on this film. I checked out like kind of after the RV was fixed and it was that. We meet our characters in his apartment complex. We see them die one by one. Some of them survive, some don't. Charlie and Frank are the best characters because they're so wacky and in the end it teases another film the fourth film so critters 3 30 years later does not hold up it's an all right film it's okay but i do not care for it it does not hold up in any way i guess the critters sure the look of it and uh i don't know them drinking soap that still holds up i guess so yeah this is a very underwhelming first video for leonardo's filmography that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching